Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm just sitting here in my car, and it was on my heart to share my testimony on why I will not settle. Um, I've just been reflecting today a lot and just thanking God for what <laughs> what he has done in my life, what he has done in my heart. And um, just to give a little testimony, um, about four years ago, maybe five, was a very, very painful time in my life. I had never before that time experienced excruciating and and um like show enough pain, physical pain from emotional hurt. Okay. I didn't fall down on the floor, you know. I've, you know, been in little fights with my uh cousins or, you know, fell off my bike or scooter before when I was younger, but I had never experienced this kind of physical pain. And it was from emotional hurt. And I just remember laying down in the bed. And the depression and the hopelessness being so great that you could walk by the room I was in and you could feel it. That spirit of suicide was attacking me like it was nothing. Saying, Linnea, and I was a grown woman then. I was in my late 20s saying, Linnea, take your life. You know, there's no purpose for you being here. Nobody wants you. Nobody loves you. Just, I mean, physical pain. I remember also, just as another example, um, being in my car. And somehow I ended up in the area where our legs are when you're driving the car where the gas and the brake pedal are. I was balled up like a little baby curled up under that little part where my seat is in the driver's seat just in so much pain crying out to God I remember in that same car that same day being in the Denny's parking lot looking across the street at the liquor store wanting so bad to drink myself until I just couldn't feel nothing else. I mean, I wanted to go to that liquor store and buy all the liquor I could buy. And I was in the church. I was serving. But I was just in so much pain that I couldn't even drive across the street. I mean, pain, y'all. And it was all from a broken relationship that I really... Don't believe I ever was supposed to really get in, but, you know, God is gracious. Everybody and their mother, so it seemed, was getting married. And so I had to go find me a boo and try to make things happen in my own hands. And I had no peace during the relationship. And God was like, this is not it, daughter. But I wanted to do what I wanted to do and ended up hurting myself and him in the process. And, you know... um, the relationship ended up ending, and I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. You know, the little perfect Christian girl has been exposed. And so I was in just physical pain. But God. And I mean that, but God. And the reason why I just have been reflecting is because, remember I said everybody and their mother seemed like, it, it seemed like they were getting married at that time. Well, I'm in a season where... I've been invited to a lot of weddings, um, a lot of engagements, a lot of um, baby showers and and wedding showers. Um, But this time I have joy. Oh my gosh. It is nothing but the Lord. And what he has done in my heart and how he has helped me. I still have the desire to be married. I still believe God's promises because he's shown me my family, you know, my husband and my kids. But I'm here to tell you, I don't have to uh, compare myself to people. I don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, you know, Lord, this just don't seem right. It's not fair. You know, what's going on? You know, I can really have joy and not be caught up on trying to keep up with the Joneses. I want what God has for me in his perfect timing. I will not settle. I'm not settling because I've done it before and... I ended up going straight to the ground. But God used that for my good. 
And so I just want to encourage anybody that's out there. One of my favorite scriptures in Revelation 12 is that we overcome by our testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. The enemy wants us to take our lives. He wants us to give up. He wants us to settle for less than his best because the world way sometimes seems much quicker than his way. But God knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. You know, I, I've not arrived, you know, I still get tempted, you know, the enemy will put thoughts in my head like, oh, you know, you've been faithful, you've been doing this, it's not going to happen, And but he's a liar, he's a liar, sometimes I really laugh at him, but I just wanted to share that testimony, I pray that it blesses somebody's life to know there is purpose in your pain. You know, there is perfect. God will use even our disobedience. I said I wasn't supposed to be in that relationship. But God used all of that stuff, that depression, those suicidal thoughts, all of that. He used it for my good. And now I can identify with other people who have pain. You know, now I know like God can show enough, bring you through some stuff, you know. And I just thank him. I just thank my daddy. And don't you settle either. I have my I, I am worth the weight shirt on. I have to get my I am I will not settle shirt. But I just wanted to share that. And God laid on my heart to share it. So God bless. Be encouraged. And um, have a wonderful day. Bye bye.